Cecilia. I come from Argentina. I am currently in the BA program. So I actually came to Ranjun Yeshe uh, a year before um, registering in the program. And I came and I had this option of coming one week to classes. Uh, it was like the possibility of just taking classes without having to pay. And, and having a sense of what it feels to be in the institution and in the program. So that time I went to uh, a Kempo class. We were studying the Bodhicharya Vatara, uh, text on Shantideva. And I just remember sitting in class and having this feeling that uh, the possibility of engaging in daily studies uh, would kind of like transform the way I would relate to myself and to others. So that was really inspiring. So I came for a year, but then I just feel at home here. So, and I really enjoy the program. So I'm still here and I plan on being here maybe for two, three more years. We'll see if conditions allow me. Um, but yeah, that's what hooked me into the program. I, I'm very interested in, in, in learning or in reflecting uh, about the significance of the Buddhist teachings in today's world and what are the challenges of applying those teachings and maybe even more how to mingle those teachings into daily experience and I think this program helps me to fulfill that wish um, in part because we are learning from Buddhist traditions from the traditional script scriptures, authentic scriptures and learning with the monastics and also from the academics perspective and I think those two brought up together uh, are very profound and also I'm learning Tibetan and learning Tibetan is I'm very beginner I'm like completely beginner but I just have this feeling that through learning Tibetan I'll be able to have a deeper and more meaningful understanding of the Tibetan Buddhist tradition so um, yeah that definitely I find it very attractive about being here I, it's a very precious to be surrounded by classmates who are from all over the world it's definitely very enriching and and because we're, most of us are out of their birthplace or the place where we grew up mainly uh, we very like rapidly become each other's family and that's a, some, a very warm feeling to be standing here it's a very big financial help to have a scholarship and also I can see that through having a scholarship there's there's like a stronger commitment from my side towards the program and the institution and everything that happens here. Um, and there's something that I really appreciate about Nepal is that I, I do see like spirituality is something public, it's something in the street, it's something that is not only in an inner environment. Um, and that's very, very precious just to see Commonly, like you see people with malas, you see every time you go into a restaurant, you just see a picture of uh, His Holiness or someone that reminds you about the spiritual view. If you have the opportunity to just be committed to daily studies, uh, I think it shouldn't be wasted. It's such it's so rare to have those conditions that if those conditions just come together, I think it's precious just to take that leap.